Fridays, my bosses give me a chance to talk about something close to my heart. And you know, it seems like there is a day for everything these days, which is sad because it kind of cheapens the important ones. Not National Glazed Donut or Squirrel Appreciation Day, but Mother's Day. You can sign me up for that one. From the moment that a woman joins that special club, she knows that her time, her patience, her energy, her life will never be her own again. It'll be devoted to someone else. This wiper of butts or tears, of dry erase boards and cutting boards, this hairstylist, master of bathing and snuggles, fashionista and fashion nosta, get back upstairs, a teller of bedtime stories, soother of nightmares, carpool driver, cookie maker and entrepreneur, a master at pushing swings and for us to be our best. She was known for that special note she left in the lunch bag, for being the giver of, of advice on boyfriends and girlfriends and crushes and heartbreaks and all matters of the heart, a walker of dogs, flusher of fish, and the greatest dance teacher ever. And at some point, when the kids are old enough, she gets a little time back to herself. But then she's sad because the one thing that she wanted, more time, more personal space, that yoga class that she could never get to, is now available. But in her heart, she'd give it all up to go back to those days where, as she looks back on it, wiping a runny nose or making a surprise Dairy Queen run was way better than any downward dog. Now, as we make our way through these troubled times, we've lost too many of these incredible, beautiful women. Women who never asked for much, who treasured every glittery card, every breakfast in bed, the secrets that you whispered, the ones that were never betrayed, for being fearless in the face of fear. Mothers are the bravest humans on the planet. So to all the moms who are with us and the ones who aren't, thank you. Thank you for having the intuition, the strength, the occasional flash of temper, the body laughter at a dirty joke, the way you made meatloaf not taste so bad, for hiding your tears when we caught you crying, for explaining that thunder was just the sound of God bowling, and most of all, for your endless supply of love and understanding.